Okay, we'll start with an RX FW511, size 10, curved dry fly hook. This is a very nice uh, shuttlecock emerger pattern. We put a little bit of tying thread on, a bit of that. Go back to about there. And what I want is just three or four strands of Parapost, we we'll just tack those in there. Don't need more than that for the trailing shuck. Go back to about there and we can trim these off. That's all we need. And we can go forward. Oops, mess that up. Just to that, and we can trim these off like so. Then I've got a fine piece of brown floss that I'm going to use for the rib. So we just tack that in and go back right to the tail base. It's good, and we we'll just hang that out the way like that. Trim that off. What we need is a really fine grey, no oh, grey, natural ostrich hurl. Just tuck that in there and just broaden, put a little bit of a taper on that abdomen we go back to here and we take a little super fine golden olive dubbing of course you can change the colour of this to match whatever shuttlecock or merger you want to do yourself and we just tack that in with a couple of turns at the back and then we can tighten this up we don't want to go too tight That'll do us just fine, and then we can dub the body as we approach, getting a little bit thicker as we approach the thorax. That's perfect. And we take our rib. What we want to do with this? Careful, you don't come in contact with the hook point with your floss otherwise you'll be in trouble. So we twist that up and very carefully we just put a, a rib over the abdomen just unwind that tying thread again reverse it to there and then and just tack that down and remove it. Hackle plier on our ostrich hull. You have to be very careful with this because these ostrich hulls are a little delicate. Get that out of the way of the and then we can wind this up over the abdomen to there. And we can tie that off, move our ankle plier. lined up three uh, CDC hackles natural 
And what we'll do here is we'll just go a little ways back and we'll tack these in on top and go back to the thorax there and then we can trim off the surplus and go back into that. Then we want a brown ostrich owl for the thorax, so we just tack that in there. And go forward again. And I've prepared a summer duck hackle like this. You just pull the fibres out at the side, you turn it upside down. And I'll just straighten my thread. And I'll just tuck that in there. work our way a wee ways back. That's very good. And then we can lift this up, trim that off. And we place our ankle player on the ostrich hull for the thorax. Move this forward out of the way. And then we can just wrap this for the thorax. This has proven a very, very good emerger for me, both in still water and running water. Uh, so it's well worth a try. And of course you can do it, as I said, in different colours and different sizes. just go over a few times like that and then we pull it back and give it a couple of wraps in front and then we can remove that and we take, I'll just turn my vice around, take the CDC hackles and we pull them all forward over the wood duck Position that, that's good. Let's have a look at that wood duck. It's a little bit wrong. I'm just spread that out a little. I just want that to give a variegated wing effect from the underside when it's viewed from below. looking good. So two or three turns there we pull everything up. A few turns tight in to lift the wing. And then we'll just give it a whip finish. tying thread. So there we are, Shuttlecock Emerger. If you enjoy the videos please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.